Ladies and gentlemen, this is who y'all requested. The highly requested. The pride of making Georgia. And if you disagree with me and not say this man is the innovator and architect of rock and roll, please leave now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the great little Richard, or otherwise known as Richard Wayne Penniman. Now, there's not going to be a lot of mystery surrounding his passing, but there is a lot of mystery surrounding how he was did in the industry and the disrespect that this great champion suffered. Taken away from us on May 9th, 2020. All right, let's get it. He was the third of 12 children. His real name was supposed to be Ricardo. But the hospital got it right and wouldn't allow the family to change it back for some stupid reason. Did y'all know that he was born with a birth defect, leaving his arm, his right arm, and his left leg shorter than the, than the other one? Did not know that. His dad was a weird guy, if you ask me. His dad was a deacon in the church, but sold moonshine on the side. Ran a nightclub called the Tip Inn Inn. I can't front, I actually like that name. My guy was bullied every day due to his personality and his handicap, his defect. But that didn't stop my guy because the more they effed with him, the harder he worked to be noticed. He got a break because he eventually met with this queen. That's Sister Rosetta Tharp. For those of you that have been living under a rock, the very first rock star in gospel music can name her what you want to. She's the godmother of rock and roll and was the creator of the song You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog. But somebody took it from her. We're not going to say Elvis did, but we know his manager did. She picked him up, took him on tour with her for a little bit and kind of encouraged him to do his own tour and do his own review, do his own thing. My guy gets even further more wild when he's out and he meets this guy, Ike Turner. Then after they make a little money together, he felt like it was time to go home. But when he got there, y'all know I'm not fixing the sugar coat now with y'all. Y'all know his alter ego got the best of him and his dad caught him in women's clothing, gyrating. Kicking him out at the age of 15. My guy had nowhere to go. I'm going to read you this messed up quote that after he kicked Richard out of the house. This was the quote his daddy said he overheard him telling another guy that came over to the house to visit when he was kicking Richard out. Quote, I overheard dad say I wanted seven boys. Remember, he's from a family of 12. I wanted seven boys and he was messing it up. End quote. He meaning Richard. I can't wait to get to part two. We're going to leave it right there. I wanted to do it now, but I can't wait to get to part two. You better not miss it. Part two coming up.